Hello everybody. How you doing? This is Water Tips. If from our last video, we did the uh, Bane's mission. I believe it's called Bane Back. Anyhow, we're back with this video now. And what I want to do is take a break in between these videos or episodes we're doing for missions. I believe we're at level 20 right now. What I want to do is share a very special episode, a very special mission that came across uh, late the last year, 2017, called Artifacts of John Constantine. I think you'll enjoy this mission. It'll help us with artifacts, these new things, these very rare items that can help you level up and get your stats all, all boosted up. Everybody should be taking advantage of this thing, but in case they aren't, I'd like to show it to you real quick. So what you want to do is, we should have it now. It asks level 20, so it's level 20 mission. You should see that level 20 call artifacts. I'm going to go ahead and select it. Hello there, mate. How have you been? All right, all right, I'll cut the chumminess. I know we don't have much history together, but together, we could make history. And speaking of history, I'm in the business of collecting things. Old things, new <clears> things, <throat> sometimes blue things, but most importantly, things with power. Ah, that got your attention. Good. Meet me at this secret location and I'll give you the details of this little arrangement. Okay, then like I said, all you have to do is go to uh, your map. And now that you're selected, what we want to do is, this will be the first time I'm showing this, everybody else is probably familiar with this, go to your on-duty tab, you want to go to events, go down to where the last first one says artifacts, oblivion bar, and select it. Remember, this is this is actually only a one-time thing for level 20. Once you access and do it, you won't be able to do it again. You'll just have access to artifacts from there on. But let's, let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Sounds exciting. There we go. It took a few seconds. Yeah. <clears throat> Here we are at the Oblivion Bar. You'll be familiar with this scene from other missions you do. And here we have John Constantine. Let's go and talk to him and see what he says. <clears throat> there you are. I was starting to think you weren't interested in power beyond your wildest dreams. At the very least, we need to get these artifacts out of the hands of the monsters that carry them. You in or you out, mate? There you go. Now, let me check my shopping list. So, I've got a lead on a few artifacts. First stop, we're going to hell. I mean, why save it for last? Let's just jump right in, eh, mate? I'm pretty sure they're keeping my seat warm. Let's go. Yeah, he seems fairly harmless. A little on the odd side though. Let's get going. the rings of Azar. Pretty little things, imbued with the souls of long past Azarathians. The hippie folks that long stood against Trigon. You may have seen rings like these before. Your friend Raven has a set to keep the demons at bay. The demons inside. Okay, looks like we have to jump down here. There's a few villains down here. Blood cultists. Let's go ahead and do that. And if you didn't see it on the screen just now, a new time castle just dropped, the Assassin Times Castle. That is a video I might do later on, but at the moment I'm going to mention it because it is a brand new time capsule that just came out called the Assassin's Time Capsule. If you want to know more, just subscribe, and there's other videos I can try and link to, or other people that probably have the same kind of video that's basically on the Assassin's Time, time Capsule. So if you want some more information, just visit the 2C forums and find out more. Anyway, back to the video. these statues, but I can't get past these guys. I'll have to kill them first.
Looks like we have to place these statues in place. One goes here. These have the little red glowing things around them that are circling them, so you just want to pick that up, put it in place. That's two. You've got to find one more, one or two more. So he says we got to find a way to open the door. So let's go ahead and put this over here. And this last one, I think that should do it. And here we are. Oh, here comes some more guys. So I guess they couldn't get enough of me, huh? Anyway, moving on. The power! <clears throat> the power! Looks <laughs> like we gotta fight Brother Blood. Seems to be up to no good. Yes, I will finish you off myself! will be lost as you can see I got to process knife metal about to be some cash so we gotta do over there some push buttons per circle to activate this little thing it's like an artifact our next stop is the lovely suburb of Oa in the old days, it would have been a real trick getting across the galaxy, but now old Johnny Boy's got Sector O on speed dial. Last one there's a duffer. Hmm. Still think this guy's pretty odd, but let's go ahead and follow him anyway. So we can heal ourselves. Or I should say repair herself. Hmm. The guardians and their green lanterns are usually more the recycling type. They're not keen on outsiders digging through their garbage. But they won't miss what they don't know is missing. Gotta kill some orange lanterns. What's he doing here? Give me! Oh, I'll have to wait to ask find out. Let's go. there for a minute. I wasn't going to beat him. <laughs> Looks like we've got some more purified ninth metal. Okay.
Since you're such a fan of gallivanting across the universe, I picked a very special location for our next expedition. I don't want to spoil the surprise. That probably spoiled the surprise. Looks like I fight some drag warriors. It's like we're in an apocalypse or something like that. Whatever way you just said we went. So this is level 20 mission, so it's not really too difficult so far. Bomb is a little difficult. It's getting too low well so far. Constantine looks like he's over this bend right here. Uh oh. I will knock that smirk right off your face and into the source wall. Stepping wolf, not good. You want to take me on? Fine. You challenge Stepping Wolf? Thanks, mate. I need to back off. Well, weird looking horn, dude. He's my friend alone. Odd friend, it is. <laughs> still my friend. Got him. Hang in there, John. The armies of apocalypse will find you. Don't wait for me. Grab it now. Okie dokie, here it is. Another artifact. Nice job. Hedron. I thought things were going pear shaped there for a minute. <clears throat> it's For me. At best, it may have some residual energy. Well, I'm not leaving empty-handed, so let's grab it and get out of here before we draw the eye of Darkseid. See if we can pair ourselves if need be. It's good thing he has machines in here. Well, see, I've noticed just now, I have been getting dropped these little things called processed ninth metal. There are different ones. One's extracted, one's processed, and the other one is purified. And it says nearby pure from ninth metal. This form maximizes the metal's magnetic properties. They all say kind of the same things. We'll forget what to do with them in or I'll tell you what to do. Let's head on up here and see what else is next. Hmm. Looks like people here have been hypnotized or something. Ah, must be his doing. Let's talk to him again and see what he wants. <clears throat> if you're ever looking for something powerful that no one person should ever have, look no further than the United States government. They've got all sorts of dangerous things that could blow off your damn hand. Let's go get some, what do you say? Uh, okay. Two, I'm Yahtzee. Ooh, and 50. Mantling of Burabritos. That's a good 50 point feat that I could have used. Also got Flawless Ninth Metal, Purified, and Processed Ninth Metal. Nice. Looks like I got a skill point, which I will use in a minute. 
Let's go ahead and continue to open these up. See if we get anything else special for them. <clears throat> Maybe one more? Hmm. Well, look what there we, we go. Have here. Let's lose that skill point. I think I'm going to put it towards my... As you can see, I've been putting it towards my critical attack chance and my focus, and I've kind of been putting my critical healing chance that I do have healing powers as well for my attack. But I'm going to go ahead and unlock one anyway. There we go. Let's go see what he has in store for us. What you've got there is Dilla Steel. The same silvery stuff that'll break your hand if you try to punch old Captain Adam on major force in the nose. If you get boxed a lot, this might be the one for you. I don't know who you punks are, and I don't care. You mess with the Major, you get the Force! Ah! Uh oh, be right back. Thank you for having a hand, John Constantine. I think they kind of need it. Got him. Good thing, too. Okay, and we'll process knife nice metal, thanks. Let's see what he has to say. Well, mate, you collected every last artifact on my list. I'll just take these and go. Excuse me? What? I'm a right bastard, everyone knows that. Fine. Since you did so well, pick one. Alright. Thank you. Okay, so you get to pick an artifact. This is going to be more important if you watch this part. Now, as you can see, you choose loot. If you want to select those three of them, there's te Tecahedron, or Tetrahedron of Ungrund, Urgrund, excuse me, Artifact 1, which is recommended for damage superpowers. 2 is a Cog of Magadon, which is actually posed for damage or weapons. And lastly, for Healo Roll, which is what I would have picked if I was a Healo Roll, which is the Star Heart Fragment. So what I think we're going to go with since I pick superpowers is most likely the Tecahedron of Ungrund. So let's go ahead and pick that right now. And I got a feat. Antiquarian. And so what you want to do with the Tikahedron, you want to go to, of course, your inventory, see where it is. You'll see a couple of a little extra slots down here. There was one, they added a second one during the, I think it was the Anti-Monitor event. And now there's two. So you go ahead and place that puppy right in there. There we go. Now what you want to do is, you see these knife metal I've been collecting? What you want to do is you want to go scroll with the L1 or R1 button in your inventory all the way to the right which says Artifacts, select the Tikahedron, whichever one you have in there, and push it. You'll notice a little scale to the left. It shows the milestone rank, 20, required catalyst for next mission, which if you pick it, it shows exactly what mission location, area 51 you have to do to progress in it. And what we want to do right now is take each one of these things, you want to place them on that little scale that says 100 item XP to next rank. Every time you push load stack, one goes in the first stack, Second, third, fourth. There's five all together. And then what you want to do is fortify, as you can see. And we push fortify. Artifacts in wall, mate. It needs the proper motivation to go on. What you need is a very special sort of item to help it break on through to the other side. As he said, we do need some more items to get it going. Like I told you earlier, we just need these done, the electrums. We don't have any. Hopefully he's gonna offer us one or it won't be too expensive to buy. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get back out of this. Hang on, let's see if there's anything else in my inventory. Nothing except for this chess piece. Oh, okay, I see. So what we're going to do is go ahead and enter the watchtower again and see what we can do from here. Let's follow John Constantine back to the watchtower and see what he has to do with us. <clears throat> As you can see, we're back here in the watchtower. As you can see, John Constantine is also in the watchtower. He'll be available from now on if you want to buy whatever. For now, I'm going to go and talk to him, see what he says. Now that you've got the items you need, you can really give your artifact a boost. Thanks, John. Looks like he gave us two free electrons. What do you know? That we can use to progress in our artifact, which we just collected. So you can see there's two electrons right there. There's all different kinds of uh, catalysts, is what they call them. Electrum is a rare compound created by Victor Fries to resurrect the Talons and the Court of Owls as undead. 
So what you want to do, go back over to using R1 button to select the artifact, select the pushing X. And as you can see, now those two are in place with a success chance of 100%. And our milestone rank is ready to be milestoned. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and break through. You want to push square, which is breakthrough, feet achieved, and it shares rank up to the next one, to level 30. We are rank 40 right now. Nice. As you can see, if you go to your stats, you can see everything went up a little bit. I think my dominance went up a little bit. All your stats go up a tiny bit. So as you go on, you can see this artifacts will definitely help boost your stats for a while. So they're very, very well, uh, well recommended, or I should say, one thing that's really important to have in this game to help boost you up. So let's see what else he has to say. The best thing about artifacts is that they want to grow in power. They yearn for it, and they're always hungry. If you feed them the right things, it will make them stronger. The best fuel for these little beasties are things like sunstones from Krypton and ingots of nth metal from Thanagar. As you can see, give me a vault ticket and five marks of victory, which I really appreciate. So what we're going to do now is, since he gave us a, a vault ticket, we're going to go ahead and use it right now to see what happens, if anything special happens. For most things, we'll probably get items and stuff. So you want to select the, the vault ticket, just like earlier in the game, when you went to the watchtower, welcome to the watchtower. You want to go ahead and go back out, circle, Scroll down to your menu where your loyalists are and push circle for the vault ticket to go to the vault. Here we go. <clears throat> we are in the vault. Let's see if we get anything special from this EA. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to Joker's Room of Fun, Mayhem, and Prizes. What will it be? Something to flatten your opponents? Or just some useless crap? Who knows? You pay your money and you take your chances. Look Bring at that. the presents and get your prizes. Oh, it's 21 now. Click the point ticket thing and it's not working. You want the presents? That was well worth it. So I was just anybody who gets the Baltic from John Constantine when they do this mission to go on the Baltic because he does give you some extra ninth metal and other things. Might have got a level skill point like I just did. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if he has anything else to say. These relics happy. They'll keep you happy. Oh, nice. He gave us a seal of preservation and five marks of victory. Nice. So uh, that's about it. I believe if you just go back into John Connor's talk to him. Phantom Stranger's a bit out of touch with reality, but he's okay. I think he predates humor, though. As you can see, since, since this mission has been put out at the end of last year, 2017, this past year, there's been definitely new, new uh, developments with these artifacts. As you see that new scrap of the soul cloak, the legionnaire sparring now, the parasite's power harness, and of course the older ones. And of course Ryan Menthol and Extracted Ninth Metal you can purchase for so many marks of victory. Now I want to show you real quick before I end this, that the thing that he just gave me was called the Seal of Preservation. As you can see, one of the first tribes of human on earth on the bear. Tribal led by a clown, Arg, fought by the tyranny of Vandor, Arg better known as the Vandal Savage. The Seal of Preservation is one of preservation that will prevent you or Catalyst from being destroyed in case of breakthrough failure. So basically what he's saying is if you go to your artifacts, you see how he pushed this, and we did the breakthrough up here, and I pushed the square button and it broke through to the next rank. Well, so there's, I guess there's times where it fails. So what you want to do with that Seal of Preservation, let's go down to it, and you select it and put it in place of that slot. You can see, let me see here. It's not showing you right now, but there's a slot usually below these two things, I believe, and you put it in there every time you break through and always put it in there to make sure that it doesn't fail. That way it keeps your callus from being destroyed. Very good handy tip there. So I don't know how many times you can keep the preservation thing for how many times you use it, but I believe it's just enough time to get the next one. So, but uh, to, for more, go on DC Blog or the forums, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my videos, especially this one. This is a very well-wanted one. Also check out the Assassin's Time Castle that was dropped earlier in, the, in this little storyline we just did. And find out more about that, go on the forums as well. I do appreciate your time. Join us next video when we're going to go ahead and go to Music Mile with the Joker in Gotham. Thank you guys and see you next time.